will be no Diwali, but yeah, happy Diwali, belatedly. So as this video is going to be an ethnic look, but so I am in proper traditionals. But the thing is, I'm feeling like I'm looking like a married woman. I'm literally looking like an auntie. What should I do? Should I remove my bindi? Anyway, it's me Chochita. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning into my all new video. Today I'm back with a really trendy traditional look from which you guys will get really some ideas what you can style in this festive season or as a wedding guest. So yeah, I have kept two things in my mind. Number one, what is actually in trend in 2024? And number two is going to be what kind of outfits you girls of my age would love to style. And I'm really happy with both the outcomes. So are you guys excited? If not, then make yourself excited guys without wasting a minute let's get right to today's video number one i picked up a really pretty unique lehenga from the brand india both my outfits of today's video are going to be from only one brand that is india so yeah they provide really great quality i'm mentioning it before i start my today's video and this is how the lehenga looks like have you seen this kind of lehenga before i never saw because this is white and then you were getting multicolored things happening from the bottom and you are also getting can can attached inside that's the best part which makes your lehenga look so flared and the perfect look what we all girls expect so yeah this is how the lehenga looks like it's all about the look one and for the look two i have picked up nothing but this sharara set which i'm wearing right now and which is as you can see in mehendi color the sharara the kurti also you're getting the dupatta so while preparing for this video i actually wanted to create a different look let me show you what was actually inside my brain this is uh, a recent karina kapoor's look and this is kritika khurana the bo dead boho girl but actually i was looking for these options. These gorgeous sets are so in trend these days. People are styling Pakistani kurta sets a lot, and chicken curry kurta sets a lot. I was looking for such a look, but the moment I saw this lehenga, I became really more excited because this is even more unique. Okay, so this is how the model is looking on the website versus this is how I styled. Just have a close view, guys. The blouse is a ready-made V-neck blouse. You have to do nothing here. The tag is still here. Okay. But the thing is, you guys will not believe, I ordered this outfit in size L. Whether I can wear size S sometimes, but I ordered size L. Because no other sizes were available, guys. So I was like, chalo, aane do, uske baad stitch kar lungi, it doesn't fit. The prints looks like this. This is not padded, as you can see, you are getting zip closer. This kind of sequin border things are happening here. And the back looks like this off-white kind of color. The third part of the outfit is this dupatta, which is sheer, as you can see. We're getting tassels in all the corners, really top notch. I'm really happy. And this is how the skirt waist looks like, broad strap kind of thing, which, which looks really great after styling and also tying things. So yay, now let's see how I style the outfit. In case of jewelry, I styled a lot of oxidized jewelry, a lot of bangles, chunka. And in case of hair, I did a bun. Ask me why. I could keep my hair open like this too, but uh huh, I didn't because then the look would look really basic. But as I was creating the look for a wedding guest, so I wanted the look to be minimal, but at the same time wedding appropriate. This is the really simple gajra I styled. The outfit was white. This was white. It was exercising the outfit really well. And in case of makeup, I. I went with a really simple, clean and nude kind of makeup but with blush. I just loved the outcome guys. The skirt itself was looking too gorgeous that the look was already a 10 on 10. So talking about the price, this lehenga costed me rupees 3,457 but I bought it in sale. The current price is 6,000 guys. If you guys want to buy it, then you can keep it on a wish list if you don't want to spend 6,000 on it and just buy it whenever you get sales again. And for your information, my height is 5'7 and the length was really perfect for me and last but not the least you can also buy the size L for this one you just simply go to the tailor and stitch the blouse according to your size and the fitting becomes perfect then so yeah okay let's discuss about the look number two green flag <laughs> Yeah, indeed, I'm a green flag in real life, guys. I'm really cool. In fact, my ring is also green today. Whew. 
doesn't make sense. So this is the Sharara set I'm wearing right now, which is also again from the brand India. And this is how it looks. Only one set was available in stock when I was buying and I grabbed it. So now it is out of stock. But I'm sure this will come in stock again. And also I'm going to provide the link of this one. Also some alternative links, uh, which same color kind of Sharara. I don't know why, but I'm literally obsessing over this color lately. Oh, you guys, you guys don't have to be confused. I'm only wearing the dupatta and the kurti, <laughs> not the Sharara right now because I'm just sitting. You guys are not watching what I'm wearing. Niche. I'm wearing my shorts. The length of the Sharara is again perfect. And in the kurti, you are getting this kind of pattern happening, which I personally like so much. This is the dupatta, guys, which is sheer, as you can see, good quality. And also you're getting this kind of gota patti patterns as borders. So yeah, I'm loving each and every part of the Sharara set. And the fabric is also kind of cotton. So you can wear it during summer at the same time. And let me show you my uh, picture, how I styled. This is how I'm looking here in the picture. Another picture where you can see the full look. It's giving proper like vibrant traditional look kind of you know and then in case of styling what i did i just changed everything from oxidized to golden jewelries uh, for example i simply styled this golden bracelet with this golden watch and then i tried so many neck pieces in fact this oxidized one also i tried choker and this was looking something like this but you know in the full look it was not going with the look so i switched it to again a minimal golden neck piece um let me show you so at last i styled this minimal golden neck piece which is from daniel wellington and yeah i think this was going really well and in case of earring i styled this one which is a multicolored earring as you can see um yeah and in case of nose pin guys i wanted to style this nose pin which is golden and white as you can see but this was not going with the look this looks good with saris but it was not going with this look so i simply styled uh, this one this nose pin and also i styled this finger ring like this and that is all about the jewelry part for this look. And in case of hair, I wanted to keep my hair open this time again, but I did not. Finally, I just uh, curled my front strands and I kept the bun that I uh, styled in the previous look because the bun only made the look really elegant and also wedding appropriate. So I kept it. And that is how I completed this full look. And this is also from the brand India and costed me rupees 1700 worth each and every penny. So. So yeah, that's all about my today's ethnic lookbook. Um, and it's of course not the first time, not my first time. I have made a tons of ethnic lookbooks on my channel. You can go and watch on my channel. Also, I'm gonna like add on the screen somewhere showing my black chicken curry kurti set, my white chicken curry kurti set, another white sharara set which are really pretty. I would highly recommend all those sets to you guys. If I find, then I can also provide the links for those outfits in the description box below. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, among those two looks, which one you loved, you liked the most. So yay, that's all about my today's video, guys. You know, I wanted to make this video during Navratri, but I could not because of my, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, then you guys already know my daily updates. My exams are not just giving me free time. Annoying. And right now my mid-semester break is going on, so happy, happy, happy. But this is temporary happiness. Only two days of holidays are left now. Um, but of course, I will keep making videos for you guys because I can't live without making videos. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, you guys take care. Stay happy, stay healthy and much love from Charchita. Charchita loves you a lot. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.